What is up guys? Today we're fishing a still has hollow park again. I bring my ultralight trout rod. I also bring a few bass rods. So right now I'm gonna see if I can catch a bluegill. Then later in the day I'm gonna see if we can catch some big bass. Here we go guys. I got a bluegill. Nothing huge. Let's get him out of this grass. Pretty decent one, not huge. The tail on my lure has come off though. Let's get the release. Oh, there he goes. Number two. There we go guys. Here we go guys, nothing too huge, let's get the release, there we go. There we go guys, oh, dang it, dang it. Here we go guys, bluegill number three. Wow. Guys, I saw this bass when I got up to this spot, and I cast it at him so many times. I don't think he was on a bed because he moved spots. I think he was just really relating to this area. He might have been moving up to spawn or moving out, but it took so many casts, as you guys are going to see.
Finally, guys, I got him. There we go, guys. That took forever for some reason. Oh, look how I got him. Straight like that. Whoa. He did not want to eat. And he took my Senko. Split it in half. Let's get a good place to take a picture. Pretty nice bass right there, I think. Alright guys. Pretty, pretty, pretty dang good one right there. Can't complain about that. Let's get the release. It's probably on a bed. So let's put him back over here. There he goes. There we go guys, bluegill. Well guys, not a very big bass, but that is a bass. Something went after him. Oh, he looks like he was in another one's mouth. Let's get the release. Another bluegill, guys. In this clip, I had seen a bass about 4 or 5 pounds relating to a certain area just like the other one. And after a few casts, I realized there was a lot bigger one with them that was about 7 to 8 pounds. But after casting at them for a while, they never ate and I had to leave. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.